Isaiah, talk us through that play, the, your touchdown catch. You know, I had seen Taylor rolling out, and, man, he let that one go. So I just had to do my job, you know, come down with the ball. Sam said it looked like it might have been a pass interference, too. Just how – how do you maintain your balance and stuff to, to get that? I mean, they were playing pretty handsy all game, and they weren't calling it. So, I mean, I wasn't really expecting a pass interference, but no, I had to come down with the ball. JJ, that last touchdown, were you in? Uh, I was questioning myself. I ain't going to lie to you. But they gave it to me, so I was in. How big of a drive was that to finish it off the way you guys did? It was a huge drive. Uh, we brought it up in, in, the, uh, in the locker room. We dropped 75 yards, and we needed it. At the most, so we just basically talked about it before before you we went out there. Like, hey, we got to score this draw, and we did it. You know, you're run. There weren't running lanes like there might have been the past yeah. three weeks, but you kept running hard. When you talk about just your mentality in those games, or you got to really fight for those yards. Uh, yeah. I mean, SEC play is it, gonna be it's gonna be more difficult. So sometimes it's not gonna be there. Sometimes you got to create your own lane. Uh, and I tried, I tried to a little bit tonight, but I got, got to give that to my O line. They did, they did a great job. Can you go about the defense getting five takeaways? How, how big was that? Well, what do you think was the key to that? Um, it was great, man. We came out with a mindset for real. Um, you know, we came out like we was talking about um, last season, the whole time how we got a, you know, our eyes beat. So we came with a great mindset, Coach T Will. Leaving Coach T. Will, and, you know, came out and did our thing. The, the big uh, talking point during the week, at least with the media, was you know, Travis played at Auburn, Coach at Auburn. It was a big deal for him to come back. As as his players on defense, just how happy are, are you? And I think Sam said he got a game ball. Just how cool is that? That that uh, you know everyone's big, but this probably will be bigger for Travis. I think. Yeah, yeah, he said it all right there. I'm I'm, I'm glad to come and help. Her. Coach, Coach T will give me the opportunity um, and, you know, for, him, for him, for him too. Coach Pittman also said that the game plan was not to let their quarterbacks beat you guys. How did you guys not allow that today? Um, first, stop stopping the run, stopping 27. Um, that was a great running back, so we had to go ahead and shut that run game, run game down. And that started with the entire defense. Um, so, yeah, <clears throat> knowing, coming in knowing he's a freshman, so, you know, I have a lot of experience, but he's still a good player. Um, yeah, just make him force the ball. That we did. At halftime, did y'all anticipate you might be seeing Peyton Thorne in the second half? And what's the, what's the adjustment there whenever he's in the game? Um, yeah, we, we was coming to halftime knowing that one would have um, come in the game. Um, I mean, sure we just we still played the same game plan, honestly. Uh, didn't really have to change anything, just stop the run. Anything. Yo, yo, Metcalf had two picks today, had one last week to clinch it. A strip uh, caused the strip fumble. What, what, what do you think of his play? Maybe the offensive guys could win on that after Danico. He played great. You know, he's from Bama, so that was a big statement for him as well. Uh, fantastic, fantastic game by TJ, man. He's going to have a great career going forward. So, yeah. You guys have any thought on that? Oh, uh, yeah. He makes some big – those plays right there change the game for offense. I mean, some sometimes – I mean – one or, one or two of those, we didn't execute on the drives, but we definitely, like, those plays were some huge plays in my middle. So, I, uh, shout out to my boy TJ. You know, for him, <laughs> for him to just come back home and, you know, have the game that he had, like, kudos to him. Like, he's playing his best ball right now. He's balling out. My face. My question's for anybody. Um, to be, uh, for Auburn to be favored by two and a half and then you all win by ten, what is that? What kind of statement does that mean for you Stop sleeping on this. Yeah. <laughs> like, I mean, of course, it's not, it, it's not going to always be pretty, but it's football. It ain't going to never be perfect. So, but, hey, stop sleeping on this. We is we not the same team from last year. We here. We better. Yep. I mean, Did you guys see the comments that their quarterbacks made? Um, no. I mean, I, we don't really pay attention to them. So, yeah, we, don't. Uh, we, we locked in the whole time. Outside noise, we don't make nothing. Yeah, we focus on what we got to do to get better. We don't really be focusing on what no other person say. I say you were part of that team last year. Didn't get off to a great SEC start. Um, here in the locker room right now. Just how big is it? Just to you know, the, the team morale wise to, to start off on a field like this. You know, I remember the game from last year, and it was a pretty one. They came into our house, and you know, they embarrassed us. So you know, I thought about that all week, and you know, I just want to get my get back. Yes, sir.
Jaden and I, they, you know, Taylor was kind of up and down for him, missed some passes, had a couple picks. But then when you, when you guys had to have a big play, I mean, it's a third and 19, I think, or something. Um, just what do you think that says? About, and he made some big runs. What do you think that says about him? Maybe he wasn't having his best day, but he found a way to help you all win, win a big road. Uh, Helen, I'll be, I'll be having to tell him, like, calm down, bro. Like, he too jittery. Like, just calm down and play. When, I mean, he – when the play need when the plays need to be made, he's gonna make the play, which I don't I don't I have all confidence in him. Uh, but like like you say, he sometimes he he don't make the play, sometimes you do. Like I say, football not it's not perfect, especially playing quarterback, one of the hardest positions on the field. It's not he not gonna always be perfect. So yeah, that I mean, just him, he's he that guy. But he he's gonna continue to get better week 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 in week out like. Today was his first SEC game. Mine's too. Well, I played against Florida and Utah, so. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it's the first game, first conference game. I mean, we still we still can grow from from this game. Is Isaiah, do you have a thought on Taylor? No. They're coming through when you need them. You know, Taylor, he's a gamer. Like, whenever we needed him most, you know, he was there and he's gonna make big plays. You know, in the in the throwing game and on on uh with his legs. He picks a strip. And you had a pick last week, so you're, you're kind of a ball hawk. Just, what was it like having a game like this in the SEC opener back back in the home state? Oh, man, it was an amazing feeling. Uh, you know, Coach T. Will let us talk in front of the defense before the uh, on Friday, on Friday nights, you know, just tell them, you know, what we thought about the game and, you know, how to type of stuff, like how we thought about dominating Two the game. Picks. Like some of the starters, let us some of the starters talk in front of the defense. And, you know, my thing was just coming back home and, you know, Auburn didn't offer me out of high school. So it was, right. it was kind of personal for me to, you know, come in here and get the win. Why did they not offer you? I don't know what they was thinking. <laughs> right. right. No, the defense played amazing. He played tremendous. But uh, you know, I kind of knew this coming from the summer. You know, I just seen the way he worked. I mean, I tried to be the first guy there, and him and his brother were already in the indoor doing some type of drills, and it's just like they were always working. And uh I think it showed today, man. You got two picks and yeah. a forced fumble, like hard work really does pay off and uh you know, he's worked his tail off all off season and it's starting to show and people are starting to see. Yeah, that's, that seventy five yard drive to pretty much give you guys and shut them out. What what did that what did that mean in offensive? Man, that was huge. Uh, we were struggling through a lot of the game. Uh, we couldn't really find our groove. And uh, I feel like we've been, you know, in practices and kind of the scrimmages in the spring, we struggled on finishing games and finishing drives. And to kind of see us go out there, and I think it was all runs. It felt like all runs. And for us to do that, man, that's an extreme confidence boost for us going into other games now. And it shows, like, you know what, like, regardless, first, second, third, or fourth quarter, wherever we're at, however it's going, you know, we're going to stick together and we're going to fight through this together. I don't know if you've seen the replay, but on that touchdown to Quinn, and it looked like he just barely got it over. What do you think about how hard he runs? You know, the other back might wouldn't have got that. Man, that, we have a lot of hard running backs. I mean, I think Braylon, if Braylon had that ball, if, even if Ronnie had that, I think they're doing the same thing. But the thing with uh, Jaquindon, he's just a massive human being. And the way he just – he puts his mind to something and just kind of his his poise through that whole game and the way that he just kind of united the old line in that fourth quarter, you know, it, it helped us get to that point where he got the ball at the end and he won us the game. Fernando, earlier in the week, you said their hurt was my hurt. We're talking about the, the loss of last year. So what was it like being in that locker room with some that was so sweet. I mean, I've had I've had some tremendous experiences with this team and this brotherhood, but nothing felt like it did 30 minutes ago in there. That was it was special. And like, you know, that's what you live for. You live for those moments where you grind it out with your brothers. The defense makes stops. The offense goes out there and does their thing. And then after the game, you all go in there and celebrate. And uh, that's something I'll remember for the rest of my life. You were in the last year when you guys didn't have that feeling. What was this one like? Uh, you know, we just talked about it, and we wasn't going to have that feeling in our mouth no more. We came in with a chip on our shoulder. Uh, we all had the right mindset to just go in. And after the locker room, I mean, after the game, you know, we was going to go in the locker room and celebrate, and that's what we did. So.
Would you mind describing each turnover kind of from your, from your perspective? I don't know, it might take a little bit. <laughs> exactly. But the, the picks and then the sure. I thought that running back might score, man. You mm -hmm. got down on your script and just you might just go into each play. Yeah, so the first one, uh, you know, I tipped it. Nico had caught the pick. And then um second one, I dove for it. And I was, you know, in Coach Pippen here. I I really appreciate Coach Pippen for that, you know, challenge in the play. And uh, I was really in the rough ear, like, yeah, I caught it. He's like, yeah, I told him you caught it, so you y'all got the ball. I was like, all right, bet. Then uh, the third pick, JJ got a pick. Then uh, the fourth one, uh, I caught it. Uh, I think he overthrew it or something like that, and I just I was there to make the play. And then for the the fumble, first fumble, that was really a big play for me because um, just the stuff we work in practice, you know, Coach Wilson always getting on us about tracking the near hill. So I, you know, couldn't let him cut back and go score. So I, you know, I had to do what I had to do to get the ball out. Just for both of you guys, what does this do for your confidence as a team moving forward? It gets the ball rolling in the SEC play. You know, you have to get that first one. And it's a week-by-week -week process. And, uh, you know, getting that first one, it's hard. You know, winning in the SEC, I learned today, it's not easy. You have to play all four quarters, and it's a grit and grind kind of game. And they have really good players. But uh, getting this first one was huge for us, and just kind of the confidence of this team is just rising by the minute. PJ, uh, first drive is when you got the tip mm -hmm. on the reception. How important was it early to kind of uh, throw off their quarterback? Oh, uh, you know, they had a guy that had his first career start uh, last week. And, you know, we just wanted to put pressure on him, you know, make him play quarterback. You know, if anybody was going to beat us on the field, it had to be him. We was going to shut everybody else down. We had to make him play. And, you know, we just did what we had to do. And then, Fernando, we talk about the third and 19 play that Isaiah caught the touchdown. Uh, just what do you remember about that play? Uh, to be honest with you, I didn't even realize it was third and 19. That's pretty wild. But, uh, <laughs> Uh, when Taylor rolls out that pocket, man, you know something special is going to happen. And when that ball is in the air, it's like, man, who's he throwing that to? And then you just see Satania just running. And when he went up and jumped and got it, I was just like, man, thank God. Thank God. It was it, at that point we were kind of in that like little rut and we weren't able to move the ball as well. And, uh, you know, you just need your star players to make plays. And uh, that's exactly what both of them did. They, they made a play and that just ignited our team for the rest of the game. You know, he did between uh, but I forgot about the, the tips. I'm glad you remembered it. You know, two picks, a forced fumble, strip, uh, and a tip. So you really had a hand literally in the four turnovers. Yeah. I mean, you ever had a game like that? High school, Pee Wee, anything? Uh, no, I don't think I ever had two picks in one game. Uh, I did in the scrimmage. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, every other game has been either one or the other. So. How many family and friends did you have today? Um, I had about 10, 15, hmm. maybe 20, something like that. Was that pretty cool to do that yeah. in front of them? You know, first yeah. so what, what was that like? It was just amazing, though, know, them being able to come support me and my brother. I know that's big for my family. Uh, even last year, we played Alabama. Uh, I had an old Miss, I had the same amount of people come. So. And, and then, yeah, this one turned out better, though. And then, uh, yeah, we don't know, it was a big storyline this week for the media anyway. Travis Williams coming back to Auburn. Um, how how cool was that for y'all to be able to, you know, get him a game ball and a mm -hmm. big win at a place that means a lot to him? Yeah, you know, stuff like that, you know, with a coach, we, you know, we love our coach. So, you know, we had to come in here and make a statement. And we just wanted to go in there and get the win for him. So, I, I know it means a lot to him, you know, him just having a baby girl and, you know, him coming back to a play, his alma mater, where he played at, uh, I know he wanted to come in and get this win. So, you know, we all just came together and, like, we got to do this for him. And that's what we did. And we hear it all the time during Taylor, our place to play. In y'all's opinion, how was how it? I mean, it was, it was pretty loud. I don't know about you, but, yeah, no. For the offense, it, it was good for us. It was good to start off with one of those games where it's really loud and uh, – we had to communicate a lot. I feel like we had a really good week of practice in the way that we handled it in our indoor. And, uh, you know, it's hard to kind of replicate it when you get to the game. But uh, I feel like we did a really solid job of communicating and just kind of getting all, all of our calls. Yeah, I knew it was going to be loud. I was just coming on visits here. Every time I came, it was always loud in the stadium. And you know, we didn't let it you know, beat us. So we just embraced the noise. Junior, you, you came in here with San Jose two years ago, gave over a tough game. I think you were leading them all at halftime. Mm -hmm. How cool is it two years later after having a tough loss coming here and, and get some payback? Oh, 
Oh, yeah, man. It's it's amazing. I actually sent a video to all those guys who I played with back at San Jose in the locker room of us celebrating. Just so just to show, man, like those guys had a huge impact on me. And uh, that game that I played, that was my second ever game playing at tackle. And that's I remember that. I remember it so vividly. And to actually come back here and beat them this time, uh, it's really cool. Just kind of seeing everything come full circle.